Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe where today we're going to be taking a look at the newest addition to the Throwing Knives of Warframe, a class that's got a few options in it, and that's the Glass Knives belong to Gara, the Glass Frame herself, and that is the Fusil Eye. Now you can find them on the market as a blueprint, they require you to have Mastery Rank of 5 to be able to build them. Like other weapons, they aren't really terribly expensive to build. The 10,000 salvage might take a bit to build up as a newer player, but that really doesn't take too long to be honest. Once you've got them in your arsenal, you have some throwing knives capable of putting out the highest base damage of its class with 77. Most of that is slash, and you've got a healthy dose of puncture as well. There is literally no impact on here though. Combine that with the fantastic crit chance of 23% and 170% critical damage multiplier, you have a weapon which when paired with the fantastic secondary prime crit mods is going to crit reliably and strongly. Then we also have a 29% status chance to take into account as well. That makes a status build work as well, which is fantastic. Crit plus status is always a good combination to be able to pull off if you can, especially if you're running corrosive, so it's all looking good so far. Naturally, weapons should always come with downsides and the Fusilite are no exception. Throwing only 2.83 knives per second makes it the second slowest of all the throwing knives, although the 0.8 second reload really does mean that since you're reloading very often, it actually doesn't feel that painful to do. But it's not all about the stats with the Fusilite, it also has an alternate fire, which is where the stats of the knives will alter, but you will throw them out in a fan pattern three at a time. It loses almost all crit down to 3%, and while in the arsenal stats screen it might appear the status went up to 37%, that's only the chance of one of the three knives procking, so in reality it's actually gone down. The advantage of this though is that at lower level enemies or groups of enemies you can use the fan to try and take out multiple enemies at once, which is a weakness of throwing weapons like this. Although honestly, I mean I don't build for it at all and I will talk a little bit about why a little bit later. The build I went for is a very crit heavy one with status, got four former on there, four V's and a dash. Hornet Strike, Barret Diffusion, Lethal Turret, they're pretty much our standard mods. Prime Pistol Gambit, Prime Target Cracker gives us the crit chance and crit damage. We have two dual, stop, uh, dual stat mods, and the final mod is one of personal preference. I've gone here with Prime T to charge. The dual stats brings our status up to a huge 94%, so we're going to be proccing reliably, and with a 66% crit chance, we're going to be critting pretty reliably as well. That final mod I decided on Prime T to charge as the most reliable mod in the slot means crit or not, that boost is, um, the boost to heat damage is always going to be present. So if reliability is what you want, that's probably the best to go for. Of course you could go sharpen bullets for more crit damage on kill, but that falls off at higher level when things start to get cut, you know, they start to be harder to kill. So proccing that can be a bit more difficult. Hydraulic crosshairs is the same problem of needing to land headshots regularly. Which diffuse light? And to be honest, any thrown weapon isn't really the easiest thing to do. However, it's an option if you want more regular crits, and you're certain you can land those headshots easily. Um, the final option for that slot will be the new mod, Auger Pact. This adds 90% more damage to the weapon, but also has a bonus of changing 40% of energy used on your frame to shields. So if you're running a, war a Warframe that's heavily shield based, this could work out pretty nicely for you. Buffing not only your weapon, but also helping to buff your frame especially if you're running an auger mod in your frame as well. Actually, on a pure corrosive build, auger pact works out stronger than prime to charge because less, di less dilution of procs. Basically means you don't have to worry about procking heat, so you can proc only corrosive slash and puncture, so you've got more focus on that corrosive procs. So, what do I think of the fuselage in general? Well, honestly, I think they are pretty fantastic. I do like throwing weapons, actually I just recently rivened up my despair. Then these things came out and I enjoyed them from the minute I put them onto my build. Like, I've always been a fan of weapons that require you to have, you know, to lead targets, predict movement, able to effectively put out your damage onto them. It brings a level of skill to a level that I really, really like. Um, when you combine that with the fact that they look pretty damn sweet, then they immediately had me hooked on using them. But while looking and feeling cool, the Fuselite also have some really solid performance as well. You can see them in the background now, taking down 120 Heavy Gunner Eximus in pretty decent time, which really is the top end of the sortie level enemies you're ever likely to come across. This means the Fuselite is going to deal with sorties without too many problems at all, and that is the main thing when it comes to checking out performance of the weapon. I decided to ignore fire rate in order to make each knife hit way harder. 
Obviously, that's personal preference. I felt that being accurate, keeping the knives under control, but then hitting harder when they do hit was the way to go. Naturally, anything with flight speed does suffer in the planes due to the distances involved, but these can still be made to work at closer ranges. I spoke a little bit earlier about not building for that alt fire, and that's because, quite honestly, it sucks. The base damage isn't high enough for it to lose all that crit and status, because there's, then there's nothing to back up that base damage. Not only that, for the most part, you miss just about everything in front of you because of the pattern of the throw anyway. I personally hate the alt fire, and would not recommend using it at all. Just be accurate with the primary fire instead. All in all though, it's an extremely solid weapon. It's worth picking up and seeing whether you like them. They definitely have the performance if you do decide to invest in them. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to be streaming some Warframe a little bit later tonight. But for now, many thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video.